and it's a book about Siberian Huskies. Whatever breed of dog that you're getting, they have breeds. They have um, books for Labs, Golden Retrievers, Rhodesian Ridgebacks, Siberian Huskies, Chihuahuas. Um. Hey guys, it's me, Reptile Zorces101, and today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be a video about holistic dog foods that you can feed to your dog that possibly has brain tumor, cancer, anything like that. Purpose for this video, my dog Strider, he is an 8 year old lab pound mix, he's turning 9 on June 13th and on February 22nd our neurological vet had um, diagnosed, she was 95.5% sure that Strider had a brain tumor in the meninges part of his head or skull brain area. And um, she said that we only had about 1-3 to three weeks with him, or 1-3 to three months with him. So that was terrible news, terif terrifying news, talking too fast there, terrifying news, and we just really didn't want that to happen. So we looked online at holistic dog food diets, and we found lots of different foods, and we've been on this diet for about three days now, and it has been showing improvement, so I just thought I'd share this with you guys, so, and bless all of you that are going through this also, and we'll get through it together, so. Let's just go ahead and get right into the video. First item is kale. This is kale. Um, kale is an abundant source of calcium, lutein, and vitamins A, C, and K. And it has seven times the beta carotene of broccoli. And the naturally rich sulfur content of it helps to boost the body's detoxification um, by enabling the liver to produce enzymes that kill cancer-causing chemicals. Kale is great. We feed this to him morning and night, both. He loves it. Well, he doesn't really like it. Actually, we have to mix it in with his wet food. Um, it's about eight or nine bucks at your local supermarket. You can get it pretty much anywhere. It's very broad. Lots of places have it. And um, we just chop it up really fine. So it's kind of the only way that he's going to eat it is if we chop it up extremely fine. And um, yeah, I find that it's just perfect. So that's all about kale, so I recommend kale. This is apples. So apples contain a multitude of cytochemicals, including flavorals, um, just so many different ones, all of which may play a role in preventing cancer. Cornell researchers have identified a, um, a dozen compounds in apple peels that either inhibit or kill cancer cells in laboratory cultures. So basically what that's saying, or what I'm saying, is that this peel of the apple is basically going to kill off the cancer causing chemicals and toxins just like the kale does. Um, and apples taste great for dogs. My dogs love apples. So apples are great. Supermarket, they're about two dollars an app per apple at where I go. Um, so just apples, just red. Just get the red delicious. Don't like do the sour ones. Just get red delicious. Carrots. Carrots are just great. Um, carrots have um, properties that help prevent cell degeneration and aging, which is a very important element in cancer prevention. Um, these are just going to be a backup, basically, for the other things that are actually going to be fighting off the cancer. This isn't exactly going to fight the cancer, um, but it's just going to provide a nice, healthy um, snack for your dogs. And we just chop it up, depending on what size your dog is, you want to make sure that you chop it correctly. And um, these are just great. They're just carrots. We just pick them up at our store grocery store, supermarket, whatever. I'm sure Target has these. If you only have like a Target around you, um, whatever. But, ta-da, voila, carrots. So, carrots also, if you didn't know, have vitamins A, C, D, E, K, and B1. That's a lot of vitamins, so. Um, carrots, amazing. And they taste good. Dogs like them. It's very cute to watch them eat them because they like them at all. This is Essiac tea. Essiac tea is a blend of four or more herbs. It was made famous by Canadian nurse Renee Cassie. If you didn't understand, um, it the name comes from her name, which is Casey. C 
A-I-S-S-E, spelled backward. S-C-A-C. E-S-S-I-A-C. C-A-I-S-S-E. Isn't that cool? I thought it is. Um, so she obtained the recipe from a leader of the Abdua tribe in Ontario in the early 1900s, and she claimed to have a great deal of success in using it in dealing with cancer. SEFT has since become very popular with many holistic treatments for cancer. Um, it's great. It actually kills the cancer, and basically what it's going to do is it's going to go into the immune system, it actually is going to go into your dog's bloodstream, and it's going to provide um, the body with a very bad nesting ground for cancer cells to grow and reproduce and respirate. So your respiration is not going to happen there um, because nobody wants to live where this stuff is. So this is great and you need this. This is about 40 bucks. It's quite expensive. Um, I recommend this type if you can find it. It's just like this glass bottle with a gold label on it and it says Casey's Tea. Um, it's 10 o'clock. Sorry about that. Uh, thank you. Um, so yeah, and it's burdock root, turkey rhubarb root, and slippery elm bark. And um, sheep sorrel. So, you know, yeah, not too appealing, but we feed, we actually mix it um, with one part water and one part of this. Um, if you want me to make a um, how to prepare this, how to prepare SDAC tea for you. If you want me to make a um, how to prepare this, how to prepare SDAC tea for your dog video, please leave it down below in the comments. The thing is prednisone. This is actually a drug. It is a steroid. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to take your dog's um, it's just going to take the dog's tumor and decrease it. Usually steroids increase things, but this kind of a steroid called prednisone is going to decrease it, th um, therefore relieving pressure from the skull of your animal. This is a prescription drug, but it does have side effects, um, so make sure you ask your vet before. Always get a prescription, go and pick it up. Um, but this is only if your dog has like a tumor in the brain, in the meninges. So this is just a drug that we're using and it's called prednisone. But make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you ask your vet before you using this because it is a prescription drug and you don't just want to give it to your dog. It's not like a multivitamin, it's actually a drug. So prednisone. At our supermarket, um, they're just grade A, medium eggs. Make sure that you do not feed these raw. You, we personally scramble them because if you feed them raw, your animal will die. Like, it's very bad. They, they can carry salmonella and stuff like that. So when you just get the organic um, white medium eggs, they're just little eggs for our dogs. And um, eggs are a great source for canines to get high quality protein as well as amino acids. Um, so, I recommend eggs. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart. Um, these are just good. The, the amount of amino acids in them is really going to help counteract the actual cell itself, which is very good. Um, so eggs have been helping a lot. And it also helps to put fat on your dog because the prednisone, one of the side effects is weight loss. So if you are giving prednisone as your drug, recommend eggs to get the fat back onto their bones. So eggs. You can use salmon oil. We're using salmon oil. This is just pure wild Alaskan salmon oil for dogs and cats. And it's by Bravo, all natural. So we just got this at our local pet. This is called like House of, I don't know. Well, I can't give it away because it's kind of like, well, it isn't really my local area. Never mind. So you can use salmon oil, fish oil, krill oil. A lot of people say flaxseed, but the thing with flaxseed is it doesn't have as high of an omega-3 fatty acid. And that's the whole point of the fish oil is the omega-3 fatty acid. This is going to bring up the um, immune system in your dog. So this is great. We put this on his food at night. 
And in the morning, you can just, we do two squirts, one, two, just around there, and stir it in his foods. This is great, and we absolutely love it. And it's just been helping his immune system be stronger so he can fight off those bad cancer-causing chemicals. So, yeah. Salmon oil. You don't have to use salmon oil. You can use, like, fish oil, something like that. Just don't use flaxseed because it doesn't have as much omega-3. So. And they're by Nature... Um, I think they're by Bravo. I think they're actually by this brand. And they're just little patties, and they have, like, tons of different meats put into there. And we got the flavor of venison. It's so much better than using just a kibble. Like, that's really boring. Just like a dry food, you know? And it's just so much healthier if your local butcher sells venison, elk, buffalo, or rabbit, deer. Those five meats, um, elk, venison, buffalo, rabbit, I don't know about deer, just elk, venison, buffalo, and rabbit. Those are great um, foods instead of the beef and the poultry. You just want the more wild, holistic ones. They're just better because that's usually what they would find. They wouldn't find like a chicken roaming around in like the Siberian forest or something, you know. So I just recommend those kinds of meats. So if you have like a friend that's a hunter, he can you know, get those meats prepared for you and you can feed them fresh to your dog. Make sure they're skinless, boneless, and organic. So, yep, that's it for this video. And I hope that it helped. And I know it was kind of an awkward video, extremely long. I think we're gonna have to split it into two parts, but whatever. I hope this helps some of you and bless all of you that have dogs that have um, cancer or tumors, but my dog has it too, so we're fighting the same battle. And um, I think this might help some of you guys a lot. So all these products were medium to expensive. The SCIT was probably the most expensive. Along with the fish oil, this was 28 bucks. Prednisone is 14 bucks per refill. SCIT is like 40 bucks. Um, mainly like the carrots, kale, eggs, apple, all that stuff. But there is so many other different holistic foods. I will leave a link right here, just right here, um, a little website that I use to get all these foods and the information on these foods. And I will just click on that and it gives you a whole list of all these different foods and an amazing, inspiring story for you. So I hope this helps some of you guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.